How are you feeling after that big trip? A little jet lag? Yeah, a little. I mean, can't complain, though. Look, I just wanted to say maybe I could have shown you a little bit more respect in the past. You obviously proved in Japan that you deserve it. Hey, don't worry about it. I know you got the whole rookie treatment when you first got to WWE, too. I definitely did. Maybe I was just doing the same thing to you without even thinking about it. We're cool now, though, right? I don't know why John Cena is here, but I do know that Buzz will be in action. Coming up next on SmackDown Live. Get ready, WWE Universe, it's Buzz! Making his way to the ring from Nashville, Tennessee, weighing in at 250 pounds, Virgil! Every superstar has a goal in WWE, and Buzz told me he's aiming high with his. He wants to have a career that one day is recognized with a spot in the WWE Hall of Fame. It's way too premature to start that discussion, but his career is definitely trending in the right direction for that to at least be possible. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, WWE presents from Chicago, Illinois, the maestro of mayhem. The Picasso of pain. The Rembrandt of rage. The drama king. Right here in
This should be an incredible matchup. I mean, men have extensive offensive repertoires, lasting endurance, and an insatiable appetite to be number one. And man, I never get tired of watching these guys compete. Beautiful technique. You know, WWE has become accustomed to seeing unusual pairings find success. But when Aiden English and Rusev first paired up in 2017, I don't think anybody expected the duo to become as much of a force as they became. The Aiden English Rusev pairing may sound odd, but it began paying dividends for the Bulgarian brute right from the beginning. After all, it was English who helped Rusev defeat Randy Orton in a matter of mere seconds on SmackDown. You think it's odd? What's so odd about the super athlete becoming friends with a super artiste? Talented people are often friends with other talented people. Not that you would know, Byron. This can't be legal. Totally ruthless, but effective. Whoa, Aiden English able to avoid damage. You gotta believe this one's over. Whoa. Oh, what a right. Man, that's some attitude behind it. Appears as though Aiden English is starting to fade. I'm not sure how much more he has to give. He's really starting to look fatigued here, guys. And when that happens, your whole body starts to give out on you. He's going to need to be careful here. Guys, I wasn't anticipating this type of performance from him tonight. Ouch. He's starting to look a little lost in there right now. When this guy's on, oh, look man. out. Boom! <laughs> Oh, nasty impact. He might have it. Oh, I'm not sure how much he has left. And you could put this singles match in the books. Now we have an idea why John Cena's here tonight. Because he has an issue with Aiden English's singing? Cena might not be a fan of the Drama King, but my guess is it has more to do with wanting to get a closer look at SmackDown Live's hottest superstar, Buzz. Take it easy, partner. I'm not out here for a fight. At least not yet. I'm here because I've heard all the buzz. You gotta see this guy who's blowing up on the indies. You gotta see this guy who invaded NXT and stuck it to Triple H. You gotta see this guy who won the US title and defended it in an open challenge week after week. Hmm, I wonder where he got that idea. You gotta see this guy who went to Japan and beat Nakamura! 
and AJ Styles in the dome of all places. Now, most people would get caught up in all that, but not me. You see, I've been around for a while, and so many times I've heard all the buzz, and then when it comes time for me to actually see what's behind the buzz, it doesn't measure up to the hype. So I'm out here tonight because I want to know, do you measure up, Buzz? I can't believe you came out here, say everything you just said about what I've accomplished, and then still question whether I measure up? I think the question you should be asking, John, is whether you still measure up. You said it yourself, you've been around for a while. Some people might even say you've been around a little too long. Now don't hide behind that statement. If you're one of those people, Say it to my face. You're past your prime, and I'm just getting started. Okay. So you think I need to prove to you that I measure up? Well, it's clear we're not going to settle this difference of opinions with words. But, it just so happens that we have a show coming up called SummerSlam! And I currently don't have an opponent. So how about you and I step into the ring and go one on one? After that, all our questions will be answered. After SummerSlam, the next thing you're going to hear people say is, You gotta see this guy! who absolutely destroyed John Cena. I guess that's a yes. Wow, what a match that is going to be at SummerSlam. If anyone knows anything about having immediate success in the WWE, it's me. After all, I was the youngest world heavyweight champion in history at the age of 24. But unlike you, Buzz, I didn't rely on cheap gimmicks like viral videos or invading someone else's show to make it to the top. No, I did things the right way. But that's not what gets rewarded these days, is it? No, now you get hot on the indies, show up, win a few matches on SmackDown, they get handed a main event match in one of the biggest shows of the year. Well, I am sick of it. I am sick of it. I should be facing John Cena at SummerSlam, not you. That is my spot. Look, I could give you an entire list of reasons why I'm facing John Cena at SummerSlam. But instead, let me give you one reason why you're not facing Cena. Because we've seen that match over and over and over again. The WWE Universe wants something new and exciting, not Cena versus Orton Part 589. I don't give a damn what the WWE Universe wants. Oh yeah? Well, I do. And since we have unfinished business after you cost me the US title, how about we give them a match they've never seen before? You versus me, right now! What's in it for me? The chance to prove everything you just said about me. That's fine. But I was thinking more like if I beat you, I take your place in the match versus Cena at SummerSlam. 
Do you want to shut up all the critics and earn your big main event opportunity? Or do you want another handout? All right. To prove to you and everyone else that I've earned everything I've ever gotten, I'll put my spot in the SummerSlam match on the line. That's great. I look forward to taking it from you by giving the WWE Universe something they have seen before. Me hitting you with an R-K-O. tonight is that he loves taking stupid risks and this one's gonna cost him his match with Cena at SummerSlam. That's only if Orton can defeat him. But what does he have to gain? I think it's a matter of pride. Well, there's a fine line between pride and stupidity and he's crossed it. Oh, an elbow drop! Oh, it's a piercing elbow. to tell you, the RKO from Randy Orton is a thing of beauty. Well, unless you're the one who's getting dropped by it. The Apex Predator's speed and power are just the beginning because an RKO can occur at any moment. Right in the mouth. Oh, Relent. Ooh. Oh, what a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. Corey, it still amazes me how quickly Randy Orton can strike an opponent with the RKO. Obviously, the WWE Universe feels the same way since the hashtag out of nowhere trends on social media whenever the Viper uncoils. It doesn't matter if an opponent is behind Randy Orton, in front of him, attacking him. The Viper is always one RKO from victory. There he goes, crashing to the floor. On the mark. Two. Back in from the floor. Oh my lord. Gotta look out for that right hook. Oh my goodness! This superstar just striking a oh nasty impact. This could be it, guys. Oh my God! Oh. What's Triple H doing here? This could get ugly real fast, guys. We're about to have a new man. Wait a minute. AJ Styles might have something to say about that. Why is AJ attacking Triple H? This is career suicide. Some people value friendship over money, Corey. Oh, those people are idiots. Just breaking down the opponent. He's not oh, what a crash. Can he finish the job? Randy Orton 
Orton is going to have to improvise and get something going here. This is clearly not the same competitor who started this match in such great shape. Randy Orton is slipping, but he still might have an RKO in his back pocket. He has him right where he wants him. Lands this, and he is done. Oh, no, he's taken down. You know, I don't think he has much left. The end is near for him. Double school, boy! He's got the ropes, and the pin is broken. Ooh-wee! He needs to change something fast, guys. Oh, he turns it around. Whoa. Oh, Buzz just barely got out of the way. Two. An incredible combination. This one is over. Draped on the apron, using the elbow as a weapon. Looking for a nice running crossbody. The Viper getting absolutely pounded right now. Buzz with a W! Wow, congratulations, Buzz. These superstars put on quite a show. Here's another look. Man, oh man, look at that. Highlight for one superstar, low light for another. And this is how he ended it. Here is your winner, Virgil. Well, that one was over before it even started. Wow, I can't believe the amount of punishment that had to be inflicted in order for those shoulders to stay down for the three count. And it's matches like this one that makes SmackDown such a success. Thank you so much for joining us. Hey, thanks for having my back out there with Triple H. If it wasn't for you, I might have lost my chance to face John Cena at SummerSlam. No problem. I know you don't have many allies on SmackDown, but from now on, you can trust me to be there for you. I saw what you did out there tonight. That took some guts to put your match with me on the line. Honestly, I'm surprised you did. I wouldn't be where I am if I played it safe. I don't take the easy way out, and no matter what obstacles are put in front of me, I never give up. Hmm. Interesting choice of words. Yeah, well, that's just how I live my life. For me, it's not just a catchphrase to sell towels. And you think that's all it is for me? I busted my ass for everything I have. And will continue to do so until someone has to drag me out of that ring. Guys, you have a match coming up. How about you settle this in the ring? You know what? That's a good idea, AJ. With all this talk about never giving up, how about you put your money where your mouth is? At SummerSlam, how about we make our match a submission match? <laughs> like I said, I don't play things safe. So you got it. I hope you're ready to dance at SummerSlam. Because I'm gonna make you tap. 
Hey, come on, that's enough. Are you sure that was the right decision? <laughs> no, not at all. I need to start learning some more submission moves ASAP. Hey, like I said before, I got your back at the pay-per-view, just in case Triple H or Randy Orton try to get involved again. Hey, I really appreciate that. You've been such a big help, which is... I hate to ask for another favor, but would you be willing to show me the calf crusher? I don't know, man. That's kind of my thing, you know? Can't be giving out all my secrets just in case we have to face each other again someday. Look, I need help if I'm going to beat Cena in this submission match. I mean... I'll get down on my knees and beg if I have to. Oh my, stand up, I'll show it to you. Awesome, I owe you one. Don't worry, I'm sure we'll settle up at some point. I'm sorry for how you've been treated by Triple H, but unfortunately, there's not much else I can do to help at this point. Yeah, tell me about it. He's still holding one against me from five years ago. Anyway, good luck in your submission match versus Cena. Avoid the STF at all costs. It's one of the hottest superstars in WWE, Buzz! Making his way to the ring from Nashville, Tennessee, weighing in at 250 pounds, Virgil! Is it me, or is this guy's 15 minutes of fame expired? I think it's just you, because just like a good mattress, Buzz's success seemingly has no expiration date. Is that why our chairs have bed bugs, Saxton? Chad Gable, big opportunity here tonight. And his opponent, from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 202 pounds, Chad Gable. Former Olympian, former NXT Tag Team Champion, SmackDown Live Tag Team Champion, one of the most self-assured superstars you will see in the WWE.
I look for Chad Gable to kick things off with incredible offense. Gable's trademarks include submission holds, airstrikes, and devastating German suplexes. And this is one of those matches where it's hard to believe we get paid for this. Well, actually, it's hard to believe Saxton gets paid for anything. Chad Gable has superior resilience. Just when you think the Olympian is down for good, Gable finds a second win. Gable prides himself on his endurance and versatility as a competitor, Saxton, and he does whatever it takes to finish the job. Uh-oh. Watch out. You gotta believe this one's over. Oh, look at this. Speed, power, coordination, and balance. All of these things are required for Chad Gable to execute grand amplitude. Once the Olympian drops you on the canvas and bridges into a pinfall, there's no escape. Just like you mentioned earlier, Corey, Chad Gable utilizes all of his athletic tools to drop an opponent with grand amplitude. Thanks to Gable's incredible technique, once he gets that bridge in place, the match is over. We talk a lot about Chad Gable's amateur background. One of the ways that background makes grand amplitude even more dangerous as a finisher is because Gable can get an opponent into it from so many different situations. to the face. One of the things a superstar who's competing in a submission match has to be careful of is if they have an injury or have been injured in the past and people know about it. You can bet in a submission match that your opponent is going to target that body part immediately. It's like having a giant bullseye on an arm, leg, ankle, or shoulder. I think we're about to see a high-risk move from the top rope. Look out! Byron, you brought up that a submission match can be especially dangerous for a competitor who's injured or had a known injury. I think that's why it's just as important as a submission match to be able to... Oh, my goodness! This superstar just striking a Texas jab! Gonna be eating soup for a week. Oh. oh, what a slam! Oh, my lord. Oh, what a hook. Look at this. Right in the mouth. Oh, Relentless. God. Hey, hey, you're going to get yourself disqualified. He's going for it all. Whoa. Hooked up. Uh. Slam. Oh my God, flipping pile driver spiked. He's got it. Let's see it once more. Yeah, this match is all but over. In a submission match, the name of the game is to make your opponent tap out from a submission move. There have been so many submission specialists throughout the history of this great business. Brett Hitman Hart, Kurt Angle, Brock Lesnar, William Regal, and Daniel Bryan are a few who come to mind. And on the women's side, I think about Alundra Blaze, Natalya, Becky Lynch, Charlotte Flair, and the boss, Sasha Banks. He has something big planned. Corey, earlier you spoke about a submission match, and one thing I'd like to point out is that a submission match is not necessarily the same as an I Quit match. The key difference is that a submission match requires the use of a submission maneuver. In an I Quit match, victory can be achieved by bringing your opponent to the point where they quit as a result of the overall punishment they've received in the match.
That's an important distinction, Michael, especially since a superstar can win an I Quit match by using the submission maneuver. For superstars who aren't proficient in submission moves, they enter this type of match at a disadvantage. It doesn't mean they can't win, but they need to perfect applying a submission move quickly. Come on, Corey, try and keep up. For some reason, I found myself reading one of those unreliable so-called sports entertainment news websites earlier today, and they were reporting that major injuries would prevent tonight's match from happening. I wonder how they feel about reporting that story now. Harsh impact. Look out, down he goes. And he might not get back up. Following up on what you were saying earlier, Corey, injuries are something to keep an eye on here. But to say that anybody is competing with major injuries in this match is just false. Maybe we can just say those were alternative facts. That seems to be a thing nowadays anyway. Here he goes. Beautiful technique. I'm sure he's thankful. This one's over. Let's take another look at these guys getting after it. Overall, this match was average at best. But not every match is going to be memorable. In fact, I've almost forgotten it happened already. These guys showed flashes in this match, but flashes don't exactly set the world on fire, as these highlights show very well. Here is your winner, Virgil. He looked very impressive in that win here tonight. That's the kind of win that makes you feel good about yourself. And folks, if you're just joining us, I'm sorry to tell you that you just missed one of the most exciting SmackDown matches in recent memory. Making his way to the ring from West Newberry, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds, John Cena! Listen to this place! Since 2003, I don't know if any other superstar has defined WWE in the same way as John Cena. Yeah, a man has been defined by his passion, a man who's been defined by his work ethic, and a man who has been defined by Hall of Fame success here in WWE. Set for action. 
action here tonight. Byron, you should strive to be more like John Cena. I do. You can feel the excitement. Buzz is here. And his opponent, accompanied by the phenomenal AJ Styles from Nashville, Tennessee, weighing in at 250 pounds, Virgil. There's been a lot of coverage on Buzz's falling out with Baron Blade, but less is known about Buzz's other mentor, his father. I do know, however, that Buzz has an old saved voicemail from him that he uses as motivation before his matches. Saxton, you've been snooping through people's phones again. No, Buzz told me about it, I swear. This is an amazing opportunity for Buzz. Just look at what a victory over Cena did for Kevin Owens when he first arrived in WWE. He went on to become Universal Champion. I agree, if Buzz is able to defeat Cena tonight, it could catapult him to a whole other level. None of that matters because I heard Buzz was begging people backstage to teach him submission holds. That sounds more like a man who's gonna catapult right into a brick wall. What height! I wonder if John Cena knew his career would change forever when he put on a rapper costume for SmackDown's Halloween party in 2002. But he showed he can spit rhymes and it worked to get the attention of his opponents. So Now Buzz has Cena and the calf crusher. Cena counters it into the STF. What is Triple H doing? Oh boy, we've seen this before. Yeah, this has Montreal screw job written all over it. He's gonna call for the bell. AJ Styles stopped Triple H from costing Buzz the match. Ooh, what impact. the impact. Oh my lord, beautiful technique. Oof. Oh, close line. Knocked him right off his feet. Yeah, no kidding. And look at the quickness by Cena. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Ouch. Boom! <laughs> now Buzz has Cena and the calf crusher. A move he obviously learned from AJ Styles. He did it! Buzz has made John Cena give up to the calf crusher! I never thought I'd see that happen. Unbelievable.
For everyone who thought Buzz didn't belong in this spot, he proved tonight. Kurt Angle, now we've seen it all tonight. Despite Triple H's best efforts to impede your progress, you have accomplished amazing things on SmackDown. I've been so impressed that I think the Raw audience also deserves to see what all the buzz is about. So that's why I've negotiated with Daniel Bryan and we were able to agree on a special one-time trade. Sending you to Raw immediately. Well, I can't believe it, but the Raw GM has spoken. Buzz is headed for Monday night. Oh, it's true. It's damn true. I wish I could say good riddance, but we'll be right there with him. There he is, Raw's newest superstar. I was impressed with what you were able to accomplish on SmackDown in such a short amount of time. Kind of reminds me of, well, me. Thanks, Kurt. I hope there are no hard feelings that I didn't initially sign with you. None whatsoever. We're just lucky to have you here on Raw now. So what's your plan tonight? Going to sit back and get a feel for things? Uh, I didn't get here by sitting back and waiting for something to happen. No, I guess not. You'll be seeing me out there sooner than you think, and in a very big way. We are gathered here tonight for a very special occasion. To celebrate a milestone that only the most successful television programs reach. That's right. This is the 100th episode of Ms. TV. When my hand goes up, your mouth goes shut. Show some respect for the moment in history you are witnessing. Do you know the kind of blood, sweat, and tears that go into making a production like this week in and week out? No, you don't. Because you've never made one episode of anything, let alone 100. Now, in honor of this achievement, I put together a special documentary recapping the series' greatest moments that I'd like all of you to watch for the next 10 minutes. Please, turn off your cellular devices and enjoy the show. Apparently, this is what Buzz meant when he talked about making a big debut on Raw. This is unbelievably disrespectful to the Intercontinental Champion. But from what we've seen in the past from Buzz, I'm really not surprised. Hey, maybe he wants to congratulate The Miz on making it to 100 episodes. I doubt it.
What the hell do you think you're doing interrupting my 100th episode celebration? Answer me, damn it! There's your answer! And now the Mr. Oz quickly join in on the fight. It's three on one! Finale. Plus, his big debut on Raw certainly didn't go as planned. Ladies Welcome and to gentlemen, another edition of TV's longest running weekly episodic television program, Monday Night Raw. Hello, I am Elias. I've got one question for everyone here tonight Who wants to walk with Elias? Now, last week we had a newcomer arrive on the scene and challenge The Miz. He quickly learned that in WWE, if you mess with the bull, you get the horns. And when I say WWE, I am referring to the WWE that stands for Walk with Elias. We got a new guy here named Buzz who got beat down by The Miz. If you ask me, it's only a matter of time before he's out of the biz. He drives around in an old crappy van like a homeless man. He reminds Elias a lot of all you dirt poor fans. I never thought I'd be happy to see Buzz, but if it's to interrupt Elias' music, I would welcome an earthquake. Seems like Buzz isn't a fan either. Okay, I think I speak for everyone here when I say we've heard just about enough. You know when sometimes you hear a singer at a concert and their voice just isn't quite the same? I mean, that's not the case with you, Elias. You sound just as terrible in person as you do on TV. I mean, I just realized, I don't think WWE stands for Walk with Elias. No, I think it actually stands for We Want Earplugs. You talk a good game. But can you back it up? <laughs> well, as a matter of fact, I can. And since apparently The Miz is too much of a coward to face me, how about you and I go one-on-one -on -one right here tonight? Buzz must really want to get beat up two sure weeks in a row. Yeah. I don't know about that, but we're going to have Buzz versus Elias right now. This man always makes an impact. It's Buzz. Making his way to the ring from Nashville, Tennessee, weighing in at 250 pounds, Virgil.
Buzz was a three-sport athlete in high school. He's going to need every bit of his athletic ability to prevail tonight. I didn't realize they gave out varsity letters for whining, taking shortcuts, and failing upwards. question because you're not cool enough, but I'll ask Graves. Graves, are you ready to walk with Elias? Negative, Ghost Rider. And his opponent, accompanied by The Miz, from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 222 pounds, Elias. Listen, I can't deny his in-ring ability, but when it comes to his music, I got no time for Elias. Listen, did you guys know Elias' lullabies are the number one cause of insomnia in the entire world? All right, I'll just answer my own question. Yeah, I knew that, because they are. Ooh, what impact. He really wants to become Intercontinental Champion. This isn't the best strategy. A match like this could put him on the shelf for weeks. Oh, or he could win and impress Kurt Angle so much that he gives him a shot at Miz's title. I'm just saying, it has the potential to go both ways. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. your back. Oh, that hurt. Knee to the spine. <gasps> Hooked up. Nailed it. My lord. Oh my god. Jumping neck breaker. Ouch. I'll never forget Elias' sad attempt to return after his defeat in a loser leaves NXT match against Cassius Ono. Just a few weeks later, we were introduced to the masked competitor, El Vagabundo. And it's Elias floundering some. But we all know that he isn't afraid of a good fight, which is what we're seeing here. Byron, you mentioned El Vagabundo and Elias. I personally believe that they're different guys. Elias has American Beauty, while El Vagabundo has Spanish eyes. Different names, same awful music. Also, when El Vagabundo had a match against Oni Lorcan, he was unmasked, and we all saw Elias' pathetic attempt to stay at NXT foiled. It'll destroy your face. Elias really proved that he was tougher than the rest when he earned a spot amongst Raw's Elite in the Elimination Chamber match. 
Elias put on some of his best performances in weeks leading up to that match. He beat Matt Hardy to qualify, defeated Seth Rump. Here's a cover. Buzz with the easy kick out. Too soon. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Harsh impact. Let's revisit Elias' chamber performance. It was yet another instance of Braun Strowman interrupting Elias. That was the one night I would have been okay with an Elias concert, mostly because those pods seemed soundproof. I'll give Elias credit, even though he hit in his pod for an extra... Oh my goodness! This superstar just striking it. I like the combination punch! Line. Look out, there he goes. Knocked right off his feet. This thing is getting more chaotic by the moment. Uh-oh. The Miz gives Elias his guitar. Buzz gains control of it. And he nails him with the guitar! That'll do it! Here's the cover! Does he have him here? There's one! one. Two. There's two! Three! He got it! What an incredible victory! Buzz somehow overcomes the odds. Somehow, he cheated. Buzz is here on Raw to continue his quest for the Miz's Intercontinental Championship.